you feel about your performance? I feel great. Um, round one, you know, we were feeling each other out. It was a little bit slower pace, but once round two and three came, I felt really good how it went to the ground, and round three I started opening it up. Certainly we know you were supposed to fight the karate bodies. How did the change in opponents affect your preparation and, you know, you're going into this fight? Not too much. Um, with the karate hottie, you know, I was getting ready for possibly going to the ground with her submission green being so great. With um, Jocelyn, I kind of just stuck to more striking the last three weeks because I know that that's what she likes to do, box, come straight at you. And I knew that um, my footwork and movement and uh, fast, like, I'm faster than her basically would help me in this fight. The height differential didn't throw you off at all. That's a big difference between her <laughs> and the karate hottie. Uh, that was the next big difference was the height difference. Um, the only time I felt it in the fight was in the first round when she first got me on the cage and her head was, you know, in good head position. And I was literally on my tippy toes like, oh, my God, I, I have nothing holding me down. <laughs> but besides that, everything was fine. Well, the fight with Michelle would have probably been more important for you in terms of rankings. We know, obviously, you get the night. Rose had a great performance. And rankings mean a lot for the strawweights mm -hmm. as an emerging class. So is there any frustration, though, that you didn't get to face Michelle? Of course. I, I was sad when I got the news. I was really bummed out. But um, when they said Jocelyn would be the replacement, I was happy about it. You know, she was coming from RFA as a champion. You know, I welcomed her to the UFC, and I think I did it with ease. So it shows the level of talent that's in the UFC. Not saying that Jocelyn's not talented, but I was able to use my game plan and capitalize where I knew I was, where I know that I'm best. And I, I did it. I think I did it with ease. What did you think of Rose's win the other night? Oh, it's fantastic. I thought the fight versus, uh, you know, Paige was awesome, you know, given that. Um, I fought both of them before. They both have excelled. I think I have excelled since then as well. It's been two years since I fought both of them. Um, I actually thought it was going to be done quicker. Uh, but like everybody says, Paige is a tough cookie. Um, but I think that shouldn't overshadow Rose's win. And I think she completely dominated her, and it was a good fight. You got in a couple of really good strikes, and it almost looked like the fight was heading towards its end You know, before a decision. Like, are you a little, you know, what didn't really click there in getting the finish? I think in the third round when I uh, started going off on her, um, you know, sometimes you'll get tied up on the fence and it's like, I really do want to let go of you. And I wanted to like whisper in her, hey, I want to let go and bang with you. But she's so she's strong, too. She's holding on to me because she doesn't know what I want to do. But I was trying to let go so I can go back and punch her. But she doesn't know I want to do that, you know. And then uh, in the second round, um, when we were doing the ground, there was a, a, a time where I felt like I could have the head and arm triangle, and I was going to go for it, but I'm like, no, just take your time, don't rush it. What if you, you know, make a mistake and she comes on top of you? But I, I, I saw things that I could do, so that's great for my next fight. When I'll, you know, I'll see it again, and then I'll be able to capitalize on it. I think little by little, things are coming my way, and I think this fight was a really good fight. What do you think about the UFC announcing that uh, up next for Joanna MMA would be Claudia Gadella? I think it's great. I mean, the first fight that they fought, I actually thought Claudia won. Um, so I think it's a good matchup for her again. You know, uh, I hear that she's out for a little while because of um, her hand again. So um, I think it's the right thing to do. So you said Rose was your toughest fight. Mm -hmm. And I asked if you wanted to call out uh, the winner of that fight. Um, anything you want to say right now? Uh, no, I'm not going to call her out. I think uh, Dana and Shelby know uh, what's right and smart matchups. I wouldn't mind, um, you know facing her or maybe Karate Hottie when she does get um, better because I, I do think it's a great matchup. I'm in no rush uh, to, you know, my dream is to be a champion one day, but I'm in no rush. I'm 26. I'm 7-0 and now. I want to do it the right way, and I want to get to gain more experience. I think I did that tonight. In my next fight, I want to do even better and get more experience before, you know, I ever say I want to title fight or something. Looking at the way that that fight played out, though, between Rose and Paige, um, how do you think you match up against Rose now? How do you think that fight would be different? What do you think would happen? I think it'd be a fun fight. I think it'd be fireworks. I, I remember us opening up um, the first ever pay-per-view, I think, or live, whatever, stream for Invicta, and it was a great fight. And, um, you know, the commentators were saying this is a title fight in the future, and I think that's true, you know. Uh, it might not be a title fight when we fight next, but uh, I think it'd be a great fight, fireworks, you know. Now I'm getting more comfortable on the ground, so, you know, she has a slick jiu-jitsu game as well, and uh, I think I'll be able to, you know, put on a good fight there should that matchup come. American Top Team is such a well-known club, but can you talk to us about the women that train there and what kind of bond you have with the others? Oh, man, it's amazing. I think we have five girls in the UFC, four straw weights, one uh, um, bantam weight. We have at least, like, ten competing all the time, and it really is a family. We train together. We have barbecues together. We do our birthdays together. We go out together. It's amazing, and, like, I was almost crying before I walked up here because, like, my fights, um, the style that I have, you know, when you're not with me every single day and don't know my style, it's, I go in there, I feel like I can do it easily, but when I fight with the girls in my gym, it's just like, 
man, you know, something that's a practice. I'm crying. I'm like, I feel bad. Like, I'm like, damn, am, am I, do I suck or something? But it's not that I suck. It's the level of talent. It's so amazing. You know, we got Valerie, we got Nina, um, those are child we got Amanda, right. and then we have a bunch of talented amateurs as well. So it's just like, and Jess Gagler, I can't forget Jess Gagler, she's my idol, love her. <laughs> um, so it's just like, God, you go in there, you get your butt kicked so you can come in here and win. Do you think the fact that you competed in, you know, in such a big event uh, may have helped, you know, your, your worth in the division? <clears throat> For sure, I think that um, Shelby putting me on this fight card um, was, that in itself gave me confidence that, you know, he thinks greatly of me. No, unfortunately, it wasn't for Michelle Watterson. That was going to fight people were looking forward to. But Jocelyn was a game opponent, and I, I do believe that she brings belongs in the UFC. But I just showed her, you know, what the UFC is about tonight. So. Thanks, guys. And she'll be at the press conference as well. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.